Hundreds of South Africans and immigrants took to the streets of Cape Town on Wednesday to protest against the xenophobic violence that is gripping the nation. Protesters from 20 social groups gathered in front of parliament to protest against violent anti-immigrant attacks and advocate for peace. Violent attacks have occurred mainly in Johannesburg and Durban. Over the past week, at least six people have been killed and thousands left homeless. So far, there has been no violent attacks in Western Cape province. Well, for more on the South African government's efforts to stem the violence, joining us on the phone from Cape Town is uh, Nomain Nomaindia Mfeketo. She is South Africa's Deputy Minister of International Relations and Cooperation. Deputy Minister, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you very much. You're yeah, most welcome. Now, the, the question here is, uh, you know, the government has been accused in the past of being a bit slow in responding to this violence. Uh, what would you say? Not, not really. Maybe there was no publicity when the government first hear about this and went straight to the communities to try and calm the thing. The media reports only came after when, in fact, we were dealing with meeting the stakeholders. But the government was, was there immediately when we heard about this in Deben and Johannesburg. Now, Deputy Minister, 2008, there, the violence flared up. People, in fact, died. Has there been a plan, an initiative, or anything to help uh, resolve that issue since then? There was a plan. There was a plan, Vincent. That's exactly, you remember 2008, it was all over. And now it's Deben that never had that experience and a bit of Johannesburg, Alexander. Otherwise, the plan, I think the mistake might have been focused on where Western Cape, Northern Cape, Free State, in areas where there was much, much more violence. Now, uh, Deputy Minister Mfeketo, in terms of uh, how the government is working with the communities, what is being done right now at the community level to make sure you can dissipate this uh, resentment towards uh, foreigners? You know, the, our approach, besides the interministerial uh, meeting that goes, meeting all the stakeholders, as well as our missions outside the country, all of us are busy. Today, I spend the whole day in the Western Cape with different Imbizo talking to the community, urging councillors to convene meetings in their wards and talk to everybody, South Africans and those that make South Africa their home. So all, all my meetings were full to capacity with both South Africa and some uh, migrant uh, uh, or, or foreign nationals who, no. who, are, who are uh, staying in that place. Now, although we know that this is the, uh, uh, these are uh, actions of uh, a minority South Africans, are you concerned that this may have an impact on the, uh, the image of South Africa abroad and perhaps on the businesses owned by South Africans in other countries? Definitely, we are very concerned. We are very concerned and we are hoping because you get a situation where even foreign nationals here are speaking out against this and are speaking loudly to say it's not South Africa, it's a small group of people. We are concerned, that is why we are communicating. We are communicating to all our embassies, we are communicating to AU, we are communicating, that's, that's what we are doing, but we are also saying to people, come and see for, the, for yourselves. The fact that out of nine provinces, it's only pockets in Gosul, Natal, and, you know, Johannesburg. But we are well, concerned, I must agree. And well, we, we are humbling ourselves in apologizing for what is happening. We hope for the very best. Uh, Deputy Minister, thank you very much. Uh, Nomaindia Mfeketo is South Africa's Deputy Minister of International Relations and Cooperation.